All right, so I figure I should do a quick video on material layers just to clear things up a bit better. So here I've got my library all done in substance. I've got the carbon fiber on one layer there and my decals in a folder so I can turn that on and off easily. What I'd do is I'd export this texture now as one thing, then I'd rename it, then I'd turn off the carbon fiber, export this, turn the carbon fiber back on, turn that off, give that another new name, and I'd export that. And what that would give me is, here is the first texture. That's gonna be my base texture. I've gone ahead and modified it to give it a red flake in Photoshop underneath the um, decal and carbon fiber. And here we've got the carbon fiber by itself and the decals by themselves. So what I'd do is I'd go into Photoshop I'd copy the decals in first. What I'd do is I'd give a color overlay and I want these to be, let's say, a little bit less than chrome, so I'd give them that. Then I would get out of my screenshots folder. Uh, carbon fiber, so we drag that in, that's in place. I want it underneath the decals and I would do the same to this. I'd give this a color overlay make that green for gloss and then for the flake underneath i would give it let's say satin so that's going to be somewhere around there and then i'd merge visible give that 20 21 and then i'd export this so i've got two textures i've got my body texture my body material and in game that would look something like this carbon fiber is gloss the flake is satin and the decals are not quite metallic or chrome but they still got some reflectivity to it just have to get the light shining on them correctly there you go material layers get busy